the vagine bleaching. No, even like in selling salons, they're offering these. Ah, where know. are the regulations? No, it's, <laughs> it's so, especially down there. Yeah. Like, like DIY jobs, they're just not what they exactly. seem to be. What are people doing? Like toothpaste and lemon juice. So, ah, I've saw why? Yeah, any, any and then it's getting like, like well, she's very delicate. So she is. Treat how she, she deserves to be exactly. Treated. Hi guys, welcome to Premier Podcast. I'm Nina. I'm Lila, and we're going to be talking to you today about different treatments, hot new trends, different products, laser, you name it. You name it, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am from the Clapham branch of Premier Laser. I'm a dinosaur. It's great Botox. <laughs> I've been there for years. We're going on about a decade. Layla is my boss. <laughs> she is amazing. She manages the whole of Clapham. We've been there. Yeah, not too long. So I've, um, I joined the company in March last year, but I've worked for Aesthetics for a very long time now. I'm super interested in it. So forever looking at TikTok, you name it. Instagram, lots of different trends. Um, yeah. She always buys us snacks. Yeah. So. <laughs> we love her. What we're going to be doing on this podcast is, yeah, as Layla said, just um, going through some of your Q's and A's, talking about anything that comes up in the weeks, and um, give you a bit of background. We're going to keep it lighthearted, we're going to keep it friendly. Share the love, no hate, guys. <laughs> and we're um, going to dissect any questions you guys have, go through treatments that we offer in a scientific way. We wanna really educate our patients, our clients on um, the best route and avenue for their skin. And we believe as a company, the best way to do that is to educate you guys. So here we are. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get into our topic of the day. It is on the vagine bleaching. <laughs> now, I don't know, babe, <laughs> this is a big one to unpair. Yeah. We do offer treatments, safe, effective treatments. Safety, I think, is is the umbrella term here. It's, it's a key word because have you heard of some of the nightmares? <laughs> yeah, nightmares. absolutely. I mean, people are going through. Ah! I know. I mean, it's something that's been widely spoke about for a really long time, right? And it's like everybody asks about it, and it's so exciting now that we actually have a safer, um, like, a treatment available and a more gentler approach to kind exactly. of get the results in a slower and more in controlled environment. Exactly. Yeah. I think, I mean, there's a lot to it. I think ethically as well, mm -hmm. you've got to think, hmm, why are we doing this? Is it right? Yeah. I am all for it, but I'm all for people doing it bloody safely. Like, yeah. the rule of thumb has to be whatever you put on your face, you can do down there. So these creams that are not FDA approved, and mm. people are buying them off Amazon for like a tenner, yeah. and then they're wondering why their flora downstairs is all mm. messed up and inflamed, and you've got to wear loose cotton clothing for it how long until it can go horribly wrong. Can go horribly say, yeah. wrong. It's it's not worth it in that sense. Yeah. But if I don't know, I think if someone's researched it and they go to like somewhere reputable, like mm. if they come to us and have clear lift, which is um, for people that don't know, like a really effective laser peel. Yeah, yeah like more superficial type something. peel. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the clear lift is actually great because there's no downtime too. Exactly, the lunchtime. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love a lunchtime me treatment. Too. Like sign me up, if I can lay down, <laughs> still have time for a sandwich after, perfect. Exactly. But, um, I mean, Dermaman, great, really effective. Four hours in the room, but oh my gosh, the results will be like no other. Whereas if I could some, have something more superficial personally, yeah. that's not going to intervene with my like lifestyle, exactly. Gym, like all of those things. You want to go straight back to normal. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So there's lots of different approaches you can go, I guess. But a more so like gentle approach for me would be my preference. Um, now see I'm like full wax, right. stick on the mask, yeah. four hours later, wash it off, right. okay. <laughs> give me the products for home, yeah. I want it gone. Yeah, fair enough, I mean. But it's still safe, you know, yeah, it's absolutely. not like a bleaching cream no. from God knows where. No, like, like a no hydroquinone or something you can get like 
now even like in Italian salons they're offering these ah, products. I where know. are the regulations? No, it's, <laughs> it's so especially down there. Yeah. Like what goes on? And the funniest thing is like it's not funny at all. <laughs> but if someone pops something on there because they're feeling some kind of way about how it looks, and then it goes worse. Yes. Like poor things. <gasps> that is, in fact, we've, I've had I can count on like two hands now how many people have actually came with pigmentation caused. And we're having to sort them, exactly, bless them. Exactly. Hands and feet, oh, Yeah. No. Like DIY jobs, they're just not what they exactly. seem to be. It's actually All more this, work and effort in the end. What, what are people doing? Like toothpaste and lemon juice. <gasps> ah! I've saw this. Yeah. Or any <laughs> and then it's getting like acidic. It's like, Oh. No, it's not for that, guys. It's not for that. No, Stop. she's very Stop. delicate. So. She is. Treat her she, she deserves is. to be exactly. treated. Exactly. <laughs> Treat her how you would your mug. Yeah. <laughs> That's the moral of the story, guys. Um, all come to us. We'll sort you out. It's safe. It's much safer when you go to like a medical professional and you're not mm. mixing toothpaste in your bathroom with lemon juice. Yeah. Um, yeah, in terms of treatment sessions, the Derma Milan, it's more of a, you come into the clinic, we prep the area, apply the um, solution on for around four to six hours, was it? Yeah. Four to six hours. Yeah, something like that. You go, um, so I actually had it done on my inner thigh, because chafe, 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 chafe. <laughs> Although if you know what I mean. Um, and the underarms, and I think we popped it on, it was like this dark brown mask, and I kept it on for like four to six hours, washed it off with like warm water when I got home. Mm. Kind of forgot about it. The next day it was like, you could tell you've had something done, but like in a satisfying way. Like, yeah. yeah, I can feel something's working. <laughs> I'm just throwing money down the pan. And, um, and there was no like serious irritation, not mm -hmm. like these people buying Amazon creams or mixing up stuff in their kitchen cupboards. Yeah. Um, and I found a really good improvement. I did. Um, Safe for all skin types as well, which is a plus. Yeah. How long did it take to start seeing those? Within things? like two weeks. Oh, wow. Like, a huge difference. And then it kind of carried on for like another two weeks. That's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and did it give you like the sensation after where it feels like tighter? It did a little, like a peel, yeah, 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 yeah. Because when we use it on the face, it's definitely for like the melasma and the chylasma mm -hmm. and the pregnancy mask, it's, which is really, really deep mm -hmm. in the skin. Um, so it does have to go through a lot of um, deep layers, but it doesn't do it. You would think just by hearing that, it's going to be really burny mm -hmm. and flaky. It wasn't. It okay, was great. fine. Yeah. Um, and I got all the little creams and lotions and potions and a little card on how to use them all. Um, so I was fine. Yeah. I'm thick, so. Yeah. <laughs> thick thighs. Right. And <laughs> thick thighs, thick heads, that's one gal. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I'm all for it. As, as I said, if you're doing something safely, whether you go down the clear lift route, which is like, so and steady wins the race, mm. in your lunchtime, no downtime, or you're like, whack it all off in a couple of hours and yeah. wait a few weeks, you're getting where you're gonna get. So yeah, as long as you do it safely with the pros. Yeah. Then I'm all for it. It's so funny, I'm more of like, a, a slow and steady wins the yeah. race, and you are like, wham bam. I love that, I'm like, Give me the results, go. yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get no younger yeah. guys. <laughs> okay guys, so we are gonna be taking some of your questions. The first one we have is from Katie from Sydenham, and she wants to know, how many treatments does she have to have in order to lighten her bikini and underarm region? Great question, Katie. This depends completely on, on which treatment. Yeah. So very different answers um, for each treatment. So first off, the, the Derma Melan treatment, just the one. It is strong AF. <laughs> it's, you, yeah. One you can go. have two, but um, we would keep reviewing you monthly for about nine months to mm. a year, I would say. It's really rare you would need another one. Not unheard of, not impossible. Most people will just need the one, it depends. Um, but you would do like four months um, of, it's one treatment in clinic, then you kind of use the lotions and potions we give you mm -hmm. for four months um, until your skin really, really gets the picture. We'd be seeing you once a month for those four months for sure. Um, just out your progress I guess. Yeah, aftercare is important. Aftercare is yeah. huge with this one. Um, we give you all of that, the pre-care, the aftercare. Um, but it's different with clear lift, right? Yeah, it is a more slow one. Different. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, product prep and aftercare is also important too. Huge. Just to ensure that the area is getting the best overall treatment. Um, again, it's not invasive, so it's not going to interrupt any of your um, like lifestyle things. But 
I would say you do one session every two weeks. A good number to start with is around six. That's yeah. a really fair go. And then as we're going on, your treatments are progressing on, you'll be able to see what kind of session number would be an indefinite. Exactly. Yeah. And what you don't use getting to where you want to get to, yeah. you can always use for a top up. Um, so question number two is, Ah, where can you have um, Dermamelan Lightening Peel? This is from Georgie in Kappa. If you want to run the corner for us, come and see us, girl. Never, great, Um, Great question, yeah. I mean, it is for intimate areas. So what we would consider to be intimate areas would be your bikini, your perianal underarms. Um, We do it for both men, women. Um, non-binary clients, exactly. so it is suitable for absolutely everyone. everyone. And all ages, absolutely. Um, I've been asked a few times for like knees and elbows, and I'll say what I've said to my clients, sure. <laughs> um, but I mean, technically we can treat, it's just like laser hair removal, um, and pretty much all the other treatments we do, yeah. you can do everywhere but the palms of your hands and soles of your feet. Um, The skin on your face and um, our downstairs, our load gardens, (laughs) is similar in regards to like thickness and sensitivities. So um, I guess very long windedly, um, elbows and knees and areas like that, legs for sure, you might just need a few more sessions Mm -hmm. um, because the the skin is thicker. Yeah. That's oh, there might be something a bit more better suited. Green exactly. peels are so popular. Exactly. Yeah, that's for too. another podcast for yeah. another day, girl. We'll get on to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Question number three is from Sarah, and she's asking, uh, if I had a pound for every time, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be rich later. Um, is this treatment permanent? Yes and no. Yeah. It's a really, it's a funny old question. It really um, is. I guess if you were to remove why yes. you have this issue, um, chafing and ingrown hairs mm-hmm. or stop getting pregnant, yeah. <laughs> things like that, yeah. if you are that way disposed, then yeah, I guess it could. But you don't know. You can um, suffer those hormonal changes again mm. um, if you continue to wax I guess no it wouldn't if you continue to chafe etc then no I guess it wouldn't but if the, all those issues were removed and you kept up with your um, home care that we give you it can totally be permanent yeah okay so next question is from Lucy is this treatment safe and what ingredients are in it okay Great question. Great question. Great question. It's it's strong ass mm-hmm. stuff in it. We're not gonna lie to you. It's like um, a cocktail of all the best things. Cocktail of all the best yeah. things. Um, in the wrong hands, applied wrong mm-hmm. by non-trained people. Yeah, like everything. Sure, <laughs> don't do it, please. Um, go somewhere good. Go somewhere where they're trained. Go somewhere they've got experience because they've it's got like kodric acid yeah. and so metalopalmitate. Exactly, mm-hmm. azorbic acid, mm-hmm. titanium dioxide, arbutin. Um, so if you have any allergies, I guess, to mushrooms, because there's a, a hell of a load acid, of yeah. acid mm-hmm. in it, maybe it's not for you. But no, generally, touch wood, I've had nil issues with it. Um, I guess if someone's super naughty with their consult, yeah. and maybe it's happened before, not with this treatment, and thank God once in a blue moon, where people haven't said certain really obscure meds that they're on. Again, I don't want to scare anyone, this is like, one in a thousand um just be honest at your consult guys yes. then no it's pretty much fine yeah it's super safe yeah yeah right sheree is asking <laughs> oh my god me and sheree can be friends yeah. <laughs> can i have sexy time <laughs> go on gal yeah after this treatment not for a little while, girl. I'm really sorry. Um, <laughs> Hold your horses. Hold your horses. Yeah. Like, don't do this on a weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe save it. Um, no, you do have to steer clear of anything like that for, I'd say, three days to be on the safe side because day one and two post treatment, you're going to be a little bit sort of like this. Sp- yeah. yeah. It's not like your skin sheds no. and you're like a snake down there yeah. and you take your pants off and fluff. Um, but you are going to be a little bit dry, a little bit scaly. Yeah. It's 
not, it's gonna be a bit more prone to infections than you would on the bike. Yeah, you don't want to be getting sweaty down there for a couple of days for at least. A couple so of days, good rest, exactly. Yeah. Same thing with um, sauna, steam rooms, mm -hmm. exercise. Yeah. Anything that's going to cause like friction, bacteria, don't do it. Yeah. Just keep it really clean, calm, loose dry. clothes. That's the one. Yeah. Cotton pants, <laughs> things like that. Next question is Nora. I have a dark skin tone. Is this treatment going to be safe for me? Very good question. Yeah, and great news. Yes. It's suitable for all skin types. Exactly. So um, the prep would just be really important. Your product preparation and your aftercare, super, super important. So Exactly. No, in short, it's safe for everyone. Mm -hmm. the, the skin type yeah. that you are, that's the amount of weeks you would prep for. So I'm skin type two, even though I beg a three with a fake tan. <laughs> <laughs> Layla's actually a light four. Um, she would prep for four weeks, I'd prep for two. Um, someone with a darker skin type would prep for five or six, so on and so forth. The reason for that being, without boring you with the science, is um, your melanocytes, so these octopus-like skin cells that you have. The darker you are, the bigger and more powerful and more freezing, I guess, they would take. Yeah. Um, so you would just need to prep with the kit that we so it kind of provides you with for a little bit longer, Nora, and you'll be grand, yeah. Okay, thank you so much for today, guys. That is everything. That is it from us. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me and Lele. And our first episode of Premier Podcast. Yeah. Very exciting. So we're going to be doing another podcast soon. We would love to know what questions you have, what topics you want to discuss. We are exactly. open to suggestions, but... Thank you so much for your time. Thank you guys. Mm. If you have any questions about what we've discussed today, yeah. give us a ring. Um, and come visit us. Come visit us. Yay. We're friendly. <laughs> um, God, I really don't want to go back to work now. No, Just me stay. either. Yeah. <laughs> no, but if you guys have anything you want us to discuss next time, drop us a line, let us know. Like, subscribe, <laughs> <laughs> share. I've always wanted to say that. Yes, guys. me too. Me <laughs> too. More importantly, follow. Follow, 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 follow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.